Baiting out utility as a terrorist is a strategy used to get CTs to use their utility early in rounds. And it's important to do this because the power of grenades, especially smokes and mollies, raises drastically for CTs as the round time decreases. Uh, executes on certain sites like B-Site Inferno or Mirage can almost be single-handedly destroyed if you have a, a well-placed smoke or a molly and good positioning by the CTs on that site, right? It doesn't take much to, to stop a, a site take on those sites. But if you do a really bad job of baiting out util, um, even the easier sites are going to be hard to take as a, as a terrorist. Uh, to show you an example of why it's important to bait out utility, I picked out a round between Phase and Cloud9 at the E-League Boston Major where the terrorists did a not a good job of baiting out utility and it ends up costing them the round. Okay, so this is round 30 of the, the third map Inferno in the E-League Major Final. Uh, you can see that Rain is going to go quick pretty much right off the bat up to Balcony. He's got Kerrigan here with him to help support him. He's making a little bit of noise. He threw a decoy up into apps as well. And um, yeah, so he's showing a little bit of presence. Uh, and we can look at the CT setup. It's pretty passive, right? Skadoodle's pretty far back here on Arch. You've got Russian Pit and you've got Tarik on site, right? So this early map presence does bait out a smoke from Tarik. So they do get one smoke off of them, but there's still a ton of utility on the guys on a site right there's three molotovs there's a smoke and a bunch of flashes right so this is actually a pretty good flash i like it um he just rain just bounces it off out of boiler uh, but you can see the reaction is skadoodle does absolutely nothing and rush just gets up and he checks porch real quick and clears it and then says okay we're good to go i'm just gonna go back to holding my spot right so this is all happening, right? And then for a while now, nothing really happens in on in apps. No map presence, no nothing. Eventually they throw this smoke, but at this point there's a minute left. And as soon as Rush hears it, he smokes off apps, okay? And then he just goes back to his spot. So now there's still 50 seconds left. There's still three mollies and a smoke on it, okay? So finally they start to take top mid and rush mollies off. Using his using the first molly on A at 45 seconds. Skadoodle uses his molly at 40, right? <laughs> now Tarik uses his molly at 36 seconds left. And then Skadoodle smokes off at around 32, okay? And then they've still got flashes and all this stuff, right? And the t T's have absolutely no path into A. They haven't even advanced anywhere. I mean, look at the minimap. They haven't moved up porches. They There's a guy back app still. Like, this this take is not going to happen, okay? So, FaZe makes a mid-round call to just turn around and run back to B. They're just going to haul ass B with 20 seconds left, and they're just going to run into B. Well, Stewie 2K is there with an op at new box. So, let's see how this works out for them. doesn't it doesn't work out for them at all right like they just didn't they didn't bait the utility out of a and they had to make a terrible late round call and granted that second shot from stewie was pretty good but like i don't even know if rain had enough time to plant regardless right like stewie probably won that round if he just hides um but yeah so that's a that's an example of a of not the way to bait out utility now that we've seen an example that it's important to bait out utility. How do T's bait out utility? Well, they do a few different things, like they'll show map presence, they'll use utility, and the CTs will counter it. Uh, you can train the CTs to expect a certain type of play during a round. Uh, you can fake an execute or delay an execute. So there's a few different ways that you can get CTs to use their utility. And to show an example of uh, a round where T's do a good job of baiting out utility, I picked out a round of the same map, it's round 14, where C9 does a really good job of getting FaZe to use up pretty much all their utility before 
there's even contact between either team. So let's jump into that. So right off the bat, Skadoodle is going to flash top mid. This is good to get an off opera off of that angle, and you're going to see it fully blinds Guardian. But Guardian wants to stay aggressive and re-peak ult, so he's going to molly off top mid and do exactly that. Olaf, who's in apps, is going to molly off apps because C9 had in previous rounds shown that they want to go fast right off the bat into apps, and in one of the rounds, actually, they had automatic, I believe, just rush out and kill two guys porch side that were totally not expecting it. Um, and that secured the round for them. So this is a pretty good play, and we can see that Automatic is jumping up into window, and he's got Russian support here. Now, Rain hears Automatic jump into window because he's sitting at porch. He's going to re-molly top mid in support of Guardian and then turn into a Super Saiyan or something. I don't know why he's glowing, but he's going to hold boiler for a little bit he's going to throw a nade to try to do damage on the window guy as that nade comes into boiler he he's worried that there's a few people up in app so he's going to just smoke off top mid and fall back and at the same time olaf is going to smoke off apps to give rain a clear shot back to graveyard without just getting destroyed from a guy in apps right and guardian is sticking around here archside he thinks something's coming up boiler and he's sold on this because rush is up and out spamming uh, so they're still they they hear a lot of map presence in apartments right and so we have garden just wait, waiting here for a while for a boiler push and he's convinced something's coming out boiler so he's gonna re-smoke top mid and just keep holding boiler and He's just going to sit here for 17 seconds, and C9's going to group up in in mid, and they're going to smoke arch side off. So Guardian is now all that utility and that pick he was looking for. Boiler is just not going to happen. Uh, some utility comes over from alt mid, baiting out a flash from Olaf, and a nade here, which is actually a pretty good nade. It does about 40 damage on Stewie, but... If we look at the time, there's still 30 seconds left, and there's no utility. There's a flash on Guardian and a flash on Rain on the A guys. So let's see what the take actually looks like. It's just going to come down to straight up fights. As the site take comes in here, you're going to see that it just comes down to a bunch of duels and some trading and one pretty awkward moment between Skadoodle and Guardian. But that's all I've got for you guys in this video, and I hope it gives you guys an idea of why it's important to bait out utility. Uh, if you like this type of content, then subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more coming. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitch or on Twitter, the links to those are in the description below. So until the next video, uh, take care.